Our Bill Barnwell ranked every NFL team's skill position group, ranked them from one, the best, to 32, the worst. To be clear, this is just the skill position players. It does not include the quarterback, who obviously would make a big difference. These are some of the notable ones. He thinks the Bengals have the best skill position players. The Raiders at two, the Niners at three, and the Packers all the way down at 29. That is remarkable. Mike Tannenbaum, why are you shaking your head so vigorously? Because Christian Watson's a really good football player. He was a second-round pick, and the Randall Cobbs of the world will be great early to get the season going. They will develop Christian Watson, and I disagree with Bill Barnwell. I don't know what games he watched of Christ, uh, Christian Watson, but I think he has a chance to be a really good player. Christian Watson, Alan Lazard, and Randall Cobb. Now, I understand they have really good running backs, and that counts in all of this, and if the tight end is healthy, he's been a really good player. But Christian Watson is... We all know the history with Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't throw the ball to a lot of rookies, and very few rookie receivers come in and have the kind of impact that Jamar Chase does. You're, banking, you're basing your criticism of this on Christian Watson? Amongst other parts of the fact that Aaron Rodgers will make players around him better, and early on, Lazard, but really Randall Cobb will be that security blanket, Greeny. As you said, they have good backs. He will check the ball down, and Christian Watson will be an improved player as the season goes on. That's what greatness is. You said it this morning. Aaron Rodgers makes those around him better. Yes, Aaron, great quarterbacks put a lot of people's kids in private school, right? That, that's what they yes. do. They, they take a lot of guys who are not great players and make them look like great players. But taken unto themselves, Robert. I mean, you're, you're the one of these people who was sitting here on this show, RG3, telling me Rodgers is somehow going to be better without Devontae Adams. And I, I, can, yes. I just can't fathom that. Yeah, I think he will be better without Devontae Adams, and it's not because Devontae Adams isn't arguably the best receiver in the league. It's because of what the Packers did in replacing him. They went out and they drafted Christian Watkins. They drafted Romeo Dubs. They drafted Samari Torre. And then they brought in Sammy Watkins, who is a big play receiver when healthy. And then they're going with the status quo guys that they've had that Rodgers is familiar with. So you saw that graphic that was on the screen about the success that Aaron Rodgers has had with second-round receivers. But even Devontae Adams, it took him three years to become Aaron Rodgers' favorite target and five years to get his first thousand yard receiving season. So they, they brought in John Brown today for a workout I saw on Twitter. Um, you know they're, they're still exploring that veteran wide receiver market but the bottom line is the Packers are not the 29th ranked skill group. I mean are we forgetting about Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon? Yeah. These guys are phenomenal <laughs> running backs and when they've had success they run the ball extremely well so it's going to put more pressure on Aaron Rodgers to run the offense, but the Packers are going to be a okay. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.